This is a Polo RWRC during a rally race. Rally cars have always been the trailblazers in new technologies. So it is with the Polo RWRC. For trials in new composite construction technologies, the side member reinforcement consists of aluminum. The major challenge in composite construction is how to join super high strength steels to aluminum. So to meet the challenge, Volkswagen has developed resistance element welding. Having achieved success in the limited edition Polo RWRC series, this welding process will now be used for the first time on the series production line for the new Passat sedan. At Volkswagen's Emden plant, an aluminum component with two steel plates is welded to become the parcel shelf assembly. This is a technical high point in lightweight construction. The challenge is that it is simply not possible to weld aluminum to steel. Because it is so hard, super high strength steel cannot be penetrated either by rivets or by flow form screws. With resistance element welding, REW for short, small self-punching steel parts, known as flex weld elements, are inserted into the aluminum component. A slight splay keeps the elements in place so that they do not fall out. Conventional resistance welding techniques can now be used to join the aluminum components to the super high strength steel parts. The contact surfaces can be additionally bonded with adhesive and also sealed, depending on where they will be deployed. This increases rigidity and prevents corrosion. It means that existing welding equipment can continue to be used with no need to make changes. The advantage? Now it is possible to achieve flexible production of conventional lightweight steel structures, as well as aluminum steel composite structures. First, a robot feeds the ready-formed aluminum component to the REW crimping pliers so that the flex weld elements can be punched in at the preset positions. The aluminum component, now fitted with the elements and the two steel parts, are then aligned to one another in what is known as the geostation and tightened. Next, some of the REW spots are joined using a conventional welding gun. A robot feeds the now fastened component through a stationary welding gun, which welds the remaining REW spots. After this, the parcel shelf is fed to the main body line and fitted into the car body. There is a huge potential for resistance element welding. It will be possible to include significantly more aluminum into future vehicle projects, so achieving a considerable reduction in weight. The weight savings can have further secondary effects, such as smaller engines and lighter running gear. So even greater fuel efficiency and reductions in CO2 emissions become feasible. For these reasons, resistance element welding is perpetuating the success story for lightweight construction at Volkswagen. Premium.